want us to look at how we have this uh, number pattern in our examinations. Remember, there are only three types of patterns. It's either this arithmetic sequence, how do we identify the arithmetic sequence in a common difference? Or it can be the, the, the geometric sequence, which has the common ratio. And number three, it can be the quadratic sequence, which have the second common difference. Now, when I look at this sequence, you can see that it is a combination of both the arithmetic and the geometric sequence. Because I see a fraction, another fraction, and another fraction, but I also see a number four, seven, and 10. It is possible that in the exam you can find the patterns mixed, both the arithmetic and the geometric sequence. You must be able to separate them. In this particular case, we can see that we've got one over two. The next one would be one over four. The next one would be one over eight. Look at the other ones that we have. It's four, seven, and 10. Four plus what will give us seven? Oh, four plus three. Seven plus what will give us 10? Seven plus three. That three becomes our common difference in that particular case. So the next sequence will be four, seven, 10. Look at the question. The question says, write the next two terms of that sequence. So it is important to note that since this is the first one, second one, the third one is for this one, the fourth one is for this one, the fifth one is from this one, if this was 10, so the next term, the next term will come from this pattern, and the second next term will come from this pattern. Let's look at how this pattern worked. We've got one over two times what gave us one over four, times one over two gave us one over four. One over four times what gave us one over eight, times another one over two. So in other words, this divided by that gives us the common ratio of one over two. So we've got the common, different, common ratio there, which is one over two. Look at this one. This one has got a D. What is the common difference here? 10 minus seven is three. Three, seven minus four, it is also three. This one has got a common difference of three. Meaning that here we're given the arithmetic sequence and there we're given the geometric sequence with a common ratio of two, here with a common difference of three. The question wanted us to find the next two terms. So the, the next one will be from this one before we get to this one. So how do we get to this one? It's half times half gave us one over four. One over four times half gave us one over eight. One over eight times half will give us one over 16. So this is the next term. In this particular case, this is four times plus what? Plus three gave us seven, plus what will give us 10, plus another three will give us 10. So 10 plus what? That will give us the next term. 10 plus three, so the next term will be 13. So the question wanted us to write the next two terms. So after 10, it will come the one which is, which is a fraction first. We call it fraction, it a whole number, fraction, whole number, fraction, whole number. So the next one will be a fraction. So which number will that be? The next two terms, the first one is one over 16, and the second one will be 13. So these are the next two terms. So that's how you respond to a question like this. So you are not, how to call this sequence, arithmetic, arithmetic, geometric, they might be mixed. Question number two. Find the sum to the first 50 terms. But how do we do that? We're given two sequences here. We're given the geometric as well as the arithmetic. But to the first 50 terms, number terms are 50. As of 25 why is over geometric, 25 why is over in arithmetic. So as we're looking for the sum of the first 50 terms, when given a sequence like that, we know that the sum of the first 50 terms would be equals to the sum of the first 25 terms, in this case of a GP, plus the sum of the first 25 terms of the arithmetic progression. So that's how I will find my, the sum of the first 50 terms. As about 25 lawa anji, about 25 foot na lawa ayini, ay arithmetic sequence. Now let me do that. So for me to find the first 50 terms, I've got to find the sum of the first 25 of the GP, as well as the sum of the first 25 of the arithmetic. Let me start with the geometric progression. 
Number one, let, look, let me look at my common ratio. Remember that number formula of two, a sum. Sn is equals to A into R to the power N minus one over R minus one. Or there's another one at Sn is equals to A into one minus R to the power N over one minus R. Now we've got the first one and the second one. Which one are we going to use in this one? Remember, I'm looking for the sum Sn is equal to. Which one? Scaling it geometric in this particular case. Now it's geometric here. Ah, this is the important part of it, which is our common ratio. You bani common ratio it. You are o bani o half one over two. I look at this. Ubaum kulu u half no one. Ubaum kulu u half no one. U one am kulu. Therefore, we'll use this one. Ngomu one am kulu kulu half. Ina bengala must always be bigger. Suppose if our common ratio there was two, we just say inside this one. Ngoba ina bengala zitalu gets to be kulu ina bengala so that we're going to have a positive uh, denominator. Right. So we know exactly which formula to use. So we're going to say Sn is equals to A into 1 minus R to the power N over 1 minus R. This is the formula to use. It's available there in your, in your formula sheet. It is important to note that we're not just looking for 50 terms as required in this one. We're going to have 25 of GP and 25 of arithmetic progression. We're taking the 25 of the geometric progression first. If I'm talking about the geometric progression, so this is what I'm going to use. The one year GP. Remember, this is for GP. This one will be for arithmetic progression, AP. So when you're looking for, for the geometric progression, how many, how many terms are we adding for the geometric? There are 25. Look here. Wherever there is N, we're going to push in 25 because we're looking for the sum of the first 25 of the GP and the first 25 of the arithmetic sequence, then we add them. Let's start with the first 25 of the uh, GP. So S25, where there is N, I'm going to push in 25, will be equal to, what is A? A is the first term. Looking at my sequence, what is the first term? In this particular case, it is half. So instead of A, you push in half into 1 minus. What is my R, my common ratio? In this particular case, my common ratio is half. So my R is half. So into 1 over 2. Then there is N. This N stands for the number of terms. I know N, it is 25. So where there was N, I push in 25. So wherever I see N, I will push in 25. So I've got to put 25 there. And don't forget to close the bracket after putting 25. This then is divided by 1 minus our common ratio, which is this one in this particular case, which is 1 over 2. From here, you go straight to your calculator. You punch exactly what you see. Let's do it together. The sum of the first 25 terms then would be equals to, right, I see a fraction, you press a, a fraction button into, oops, you, pr you press a fraction button and another fraction button on, 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 on the numerator. We've got half there, we've got one, then we go down, we've got two. We put a bracket, you write exactly what you see. I've just put this, I'm putting a bracket now which is uh, into one, you press one, you press the next sign that you see there, which is minus, there's a fraction there, which is one, on top we've got one, it denominated two, bani. you two, remember all that is also in bracket, don't forget to put that in bracket, it is important that you must put it in bracket. Uh, this is the bracket, Yes, make sure that it is in bracket. It's half, that half is to the power uh, 25. Remember that it is to the power 25. Then you put x to the power, a button there, which you see 25. Then you up, go outside and you close that bracket. Then you see, what you see on the calculator, it must be the same thing that you see there. This is divided by one minus a fraction. You can put a fraction button on top, you've got one, Denominator to Lapaya Ubani or two. You can also put that in bracket. Then you say equal sign. Yes, the answer is zero comma nine 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 nine. So many nines. Therefore, sum of the first twenty-five terms 
will approximately be 1. Let's say it is equal to 1, the sum of the first 25 terms of the geometric sequence. Remember, we're not looking for the sum of the first 25, so now 50 seconds. So now our geometric sequence, so if I just told our manji, our arithmetic sequence. Let us find the sum of the first uh, 25 terms. You go to your formula sheet, you pick up the formula, it's Sn, Sn is equal to n over 2 into 2a plus into n minus 1d. Close that bracket. Remember, with the school and manji, the arithmetic, arithmetic, arithmetic progression. I go to use this one that I've already collected there. I know this is the first term. I know this is my common difference. Let us go and substitute there. What is n? How many terms are we adding? 25 for our GP, says Renzile. This sends out 25 for arithmetic progression. So we know that we know the number of terms. There are 25. We're looking for the sum of the first 25 terms. So when there was n, now I've got 25. So wherever I see n on the other side, I push in 25 as well. So I know that I'll push 25 here and push 25 here. So it's going to be 25 over 2 into 2 times. What is a? I go to my sequence. I look at the first term. What is the first term here? It is 4 in this particular case. I know if this is 4, and I know 2 times 4 will be 8. Plus, what is n? n is 25. 25 minus 1 is 24. This is multiplied by, what is the common difference? Common difference in this particular case, our d was 3. We push it in here. It is times 3. Close this bracket. So the sum of the first 25 terms will be equal to, let's add those together. We've got uh, the, fraction part, the fraction button. On top, we've got 25, which is the number of terms divided by 2 following my formula. Uh, into, what do I have? 8, 2 times 4, it will give me 8. Uh, I add plus uh, 24 times 3. I close that bracket and I close the bigger one. What is the solution here? It is 1,000. I'm finding 1,000. 1, 2, 3. It is 1,000. Remember, this is the sum of the 25 terms. How many? What is the question requiring from us? The question is, Find the sum of the first 50 terms. For now, 50, I have 25. But the 50 way to work here with 25 way GP, but you know, 25 way arithmetic progression. Therefore, the sum of the first 50 terms would be equal to the 25 by geometric progression, in this case, which is 1, plus the 25 by arithmetic sequence, in this case, which is 1,000. So, what is the sum? Of the first 50 terms, it will be 1,000 plus 1, which is 1,001. So this is the sum of the first 50 terms. This is a typical example of a geometric sequence. I want us to look at the next one now, which will be, this is the arithmetic sequence. I want us to look at one example of a geometric sequence as well.